Indianapolis is battling hunger, but not by asking people to come to a food pantry, but by bringing the food pantry to them. So two months in, we had asked, is it working? The Now's Ann Kelly joins us live with what we're learning about the new venture. Ann? Well, Candace and Raphael, I am live outside Nazarene Missionary Baptist Church on the northeast side. It's 38th and Sherman. And that new venture, we'll take a look. Look at this parking lot full of people. This parking lot and five others across our city. This is the scene today. Like every, uh, like once a week this summer, a truck has pulled into this lot and lines have formed. Hundreds of people have arrived to pick up food to take one of these bags, take a bag, fill it with as much food as they need and go on their way. It's about getting food in the hands of the community. A unique program. Program here. You can see everyone getting their food right now. And it's thanks to a partnership between Gleaners and the Department of Public Safety, what is called the Care Mobile Food Pantry. The question now is whether this new pilot program is working. Well, if this is any indicator, consider some numbers we just learned that because of this initiative, since June 15th, nearly 390,000 pounds of food have been handed out. They've made their way into homes of hungry area families. Roughly 49,000 people have benefited, including 7,000 kids under the age of five. Just moments ago, I talked with Galeners who told us it is obvious a lot of people in our community need help feeding their families. At a lot of these mobile pantries that may start from 4 to 6 p.m., um, we're having people show up at 7.30 in the morning to get in line. Um, sometimes, you know, they're just that much in need. This is a food pantry that is reaching more people faster than the average food pantry. So the question is, will this continue? Well, Gleaners tells me it is looking into possible options to keep this going. Otherwise, it is slated to end on September 12th. Reporting live from the northeast side, Ann Kelly, RTV6.